Hey guys, Nabil here. I hope everyone is doing okay. Now, I was gonna do another video, which I will do after this one, which is pretty exciting because I'm gonna announce something big. So make sure to check that out. It's probably gonna be published later today or tomorrow. Um, so, today's video, we're gonna talk about some more Garou Mark of the Wolves 2. Because as you know, and I covered this in a previous video, two discs were found that had assets from the cancelled, never finished Garou Mark of the Wolves 2. And we saw some stages, we saw some uh, clear uh, pixel arts and sprites for characters that we knew are in the game, characters that we haven't seen before. But that's not the only thing, because the that, the, that disc is still giving us some new information. Today I'm going to cover what was released since the last video I did. Gentle reminder before I go into that to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now, let's look at what was found on those discs. So pre previously we've seen some, as I said, of the characters and that sprite, the sprites for all the characters that we've seen before long ago, and it wasn't clear now, it's a lot clearer, but since then, some more data was shown. And uh, some of that includes character sprites for probably new moves, like you, the one you can see here for the t -Zoc showing this move. It could be new, it could be uh, slightly altered. And every time I see this, man, I just... It, it's like somehow I forget how beautiful this game looks, how awesome the sprites and the 2D animation and art in this game are. It's just... It's perfection, it's what it is. So, we have t -Zoc. And then we also have Ryan. Now I'm not sure if this is a new move or just slightly altered. There's a grab in there, which uh, uh, it seems to be the same from the uh, the first game. And Grant was also supposed to make a comeback. He was the mid boss of the uh, first game, and supposedly he was going to be a playable character. So probably slightly nerfed. You can still play as Grant, of course, using cheat codes. Uh, or you know, actually unlock him. Kane is also was also making a comeback. So they were pretty much using all the sprites from the uh, the previous or the first game and then adding characters to it. Now these are some sprites from uh, as I said, Kane, the previous boss who was supposed to be again a playable normal character. As I said, he was also playable in, in the game. Then we started seeing some stages. Now these are stages that we haven't seen before, and they were supposed to be exclusive, of course to Mark of the Wolves 2. These are unfinished because the whole game is unfinished. And again, I said this before and I'll say it again. Do not expect a playable version of this game because there are none. The game was stopped and canceled before they got into a playable format. So it was never, they confirmed this before, there was never a playable demo for this game. Now this, this is the first stage here, it's supposed to be like a some sort of dock. Uh, and then we have here, it looks, kind of reminds me, uh, and it's, I think this, yeah, it looks like it's Thailand, maybe, uh, and then this other European looking one, and this is again, not completed, obviously, but it's already looking really, really nice. More stages again, not sure what this is supposed to be, this is the Kane residence, or maybe the, you know, like, Vorghiz is dead in this, in this timeline. So I'm not sure what's that supposed to be, what 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 this stage mean. I think this is the second part of the stage. So this is the uh, the second uh, part of it, uh, or second like another layer of the stage. I'm guessing. I'm, if I have to guess, this has to be Kane or uh, Rocks, uh, the Sea's mother. Uh, I don't know, maybe estate or family or maybe I don't know what the story was gonna be for this game. More stages here again, showing like some uh, mobs or mafia boss bosses, or I don't know what this is, some sort of warehouse. Interesting concept, honestly. And again, these are the three layers, I believe. The first layer, second layer, third layer of the same stage. As you know, stages do when they're, when they're drawn, when they, they actually are done in, in layers. Uh, more stages here, again. Uh, one looks like the uh, inside of a mansion. Not completed, obviously. And then this one looks like some sort of Colosseum. It looks like the Colosseum, by the way, like some ruins 
ancient ruins. Again, all great ideas. I would have loved to seen these completed. And then this last one, I'm not supposed, is this like a freight train? I don't know what, what, what this is supposed to be. Then we have a better look at the new character who was supposed to be Joe Higashi's student with the different colors that she was gonna have in the game. More sprites again. And a lot of sprites, actually. Uh, and also, tons of sprite for this brand new character who we never uh, saw completed, obviously, and we haven't seen in any other game. And her name is Jess Young. She's supposed to be a boxer. And you know what? Like, I, I love the talented fans that we have in the community. And, and this is why I love what Twitter user Don Tropo has done. He basically took all these sprites and put them into an animated GIF to give you an awesome and precise idea on how this character was supposed to be moving. Just putting all these together. And as you can see, you can see it rolling, you can see it jumping, um, moving, you know, like uh, in steps. And the community is awesome, guys. Really, it's wow. I, I, I am, I don't know what to say, honestly. Uh, but it, I don't believe this is the end of these Garou Mark of the Wolves leaks. I think we're still going to see some more. And maybe one day we're going to get a sequel. And speaking of a sequel, and this happened on July 11th. That was my birthday, by the way. I turned 40. Yes, I'm 40 years old now. I don't feel different, though. Strange. Anyway, Yasuyuki Oda, the King of Fighters producer, and longtime SNK producer, uh, talked about Garou 2, but he started talking about the story, where the story is going to go. So he showed this image, uh, which, you know, like shows this is the ending in, of uh, SNK Heroines, and it showed that Rock is pushing Terry from Giza's Tower. Similar, not similar, but this is how his dad, or Giz Howard, died, but it, it wasn't uh, uh, Terry that pushed him like that. It was, you know, kind of like an accidental death, if you will. But uh, he, he, and he started talking about it. He said, is Terry's trauma, uh, is Terry's trauma, Mark of the Wolf too, he says it. Is this, is, is this is his trauma, his trauma, because this was a dream, like it was a nightmare that he had. So, and then he added, I think it's hard for you to imagine. I went back to SNK to complete Garo. So he wanted to complete Garo and, and create Garo sequel. At least I want to make Terry and Rock happy. That's why I work at SNK, right? So he's saying that he still wants to make a sequel to Garo. Like, this, this is big. He adds, however, I find it difficult to make everyone happy because Garo, Fatal Fury, is old. This requires the, co the cooperation of the entire community. We asked for everyone's cooperation. So, I'm not sure. Well, I, well, I, well, let me finish and I'll tell you what I think this, this is all about. And he says, I want to show you the ultimate Buster Wolf and the biggest Shine Knuckle showdown. What I want to tell people all over the world is to see the final showdown between Terry and Rock. That's all. What? Final showdown? Oda-san, what is going on in here? I'll tell you what's going on, or what I think is going on. I think these are your first hints at the next major fighting game from SNK. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe and think that SNK has started working on a new Fatal Fury game that is going to be both a Garou sequel and a Fatal Fury sequel. What do I mean by that? Garou Mark of the Wolves is already a Fatal Fury sequel. Well, here's what I think. I do not think that the next game is going to be Garou 2, as in as it was supposed to be. All brand new characters except Terry Bogart. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're going to have a sequel to Garou, but we're going to have more of the Fatal Fury characters. We're going to have the, the Garou guys, probably, I don't know, Freeman, um, Kane, Ryan, uh, all the other the other guys, uh, Gato, obviously, my boy Gato, those I mean, who I mean in King of Fighters 15. But we're also going to get, probably, Joe and Andy and Mai, so they're not going to just forget about them. Uh, similar to what Street Fighter is doing, right? Remember what Street Fighter did with Street Fighter 3, right? They, you know, throw everyone out and left Ken and Ryu, and now we have a new Street Fighter that is set in the future, 
but now it's going to have legacy characters and brand new characters. And I think this is exactly what's going to happen with the next Fatal Fury Garo game. Exciting times to be an SNK fan, exciting times to be a fighting game fan, and absolutely exciting times to be a Fatal Fury fan. And I know maybe there are not a lot of people, Fatal Fury fans, right? I mean, it's been it's, it's an old game. All the sun is right, right? If you didn't grow up in the 90s, you're probably not a Garo fan, probably not a Fatal Fury fan. But us, Fatal Fury fans, are gonna eat good. So, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Tiard, Fahad de Suedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Danger Man 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.